Hi, Reborn friends. It's Christina with the Reborn family. And as you can see here, we've got sweet little Sammy. And Sammy is officially ready for his first bath. So uh, I'm just getting everything ready for Sammy's first bath. He's here on the changing table. We're gonna get him undressed. Um, I've got his clothes picked out for after his bath. So we'll put little mittens on him, keep his hands warm. We've got little cute little knee-high socks. I thought those would look cute on him. And I think I'm gonna try this cloth diaper on him. Um, it's actually, I just found it and it's so cute. So we're gonna try it out. I don't know if it fits him. He's never worn it before, but I think we'll do the cloth diaper. If that doesn't work out, we've got another diaper just in case. And then I might try this um, really soft little hat on him too to keep him warm after his bath. Um, and then of course we've got the little boogie sucker ready and uh, his hairbrush. Um, you're gonna wanna use a really soft brush on a rooted hair reborn. So we wanna be really careful with his hair. Um, and then for silicone babies, you're gonna wanna use um, a matting powder after their bath. So similar to baby powder, you know, you would powder a baby after their bath. With a silicone um, reborn baby, you're gonna wanna, wanna powder them. So I got Just Matte and it's by D3 Creation. Um, but you can look up online, you know, there's other ones that maybe your artist can recommend one. This was recommended by his artist, um, and so that's why I got that for him. So I'm going to get his bath set up, but first, let's go ahead and undress him. And um, some of you, I've noticed, are new to the channel. We have a lot of new subscribers, which is really exciting. Um, but I think a lot of people are kind of confused about who we are and what we do. So... I'm gonna kind of talk about that while I get Sammy undressed here. Um, so I am a Reborn doll collector. I collect both vinyl and silicone, although these days I tend to prefer the silicone if I'm being honest. Um, so yeah, so I collect and I do everything with my family. Um, my husband and my our two girls, Grace is five and Joy is three. And the reason I include my family is because well, I include my family in everything I do. So um, we are the Reborn family. We take um, the Reborn dolls with us on outings, family fun outings, maybe to the mall or Walmart, um, maybe on a family vacation, things like that. Um, yeah, and that's just kind of what we do and who we are. So um, it's just a passion of mine that I have found over the last year and a half or so. And... Um, I've included my family along the journey. Um, and then of course, everything um, along the journey, I have also put on YouTube. So you guys are all part of the Reborn family as well. All of the subscribers here are part of the Reborn family because, well, you're here for the journey along with us. So, all right, look at Sammy. Isn't he incredible? So Sammy, for those that don't know, is a full body silicone art doll is what it's it's technically called and um he uh he has all the bits and pieces of a just like a real baby would he has full armatures so his arms can pose in different ways and his legs can too so he's got um armatures full body armatures so in his arms legs his feet and hands so he can really do like a lot of different poses i try to be extra careful with him um, because he is a very high-end baby, which is why he is so realistic looking. Um, he can take a full pacifier. He has a full, fully sculpted mouth, fully opened mouth, open nostrils, rooted lashes, rooted eyebrows, rooted hair. So he's very, very realistic. So, all right, I think Sammy is ready for the bath. Let's go get some water, some warm water, washcloth, bubbles. Let's get him to the bath. All right, baby boy. Here we go, his first bath. So for YouTube, we covered his little bits. Oh, it feels so weird to get a reborn in water. I know he's technically a, um, he's a silicone. I mean, it's okay that he gets water and I'm just using a uh, gentle um, dish soap on him 
So just if you guys are wondering what we used. Um, and so I covered his bits with a little washcloth. And then, of course, I have a rainbow printed washcloth that I'm going to use to just kind of get him nice and clean. Look at that, you guys. Doesn't he look so cute? Look at his, he's got this little umbilical cord or not umbilical cord, but where it was, you know, his belly button is healing from, from being just like a little newborn. Let's get some water on him, get him nice and clean. And he's kind of cold in the bath, but he's doing really well. He's not crying. I think he likes it. So he was kind of curled up because he was, uh, he's not too sure. So he's kind of curling up on me, but he's, he seems to be doing really well with it. So we're going to get him just kind of, so you want to be really gentle, of course, um, of course with a real baby, you'd want to be gentle, but you also want to be gentle, extra gentle with the silicone because, you know, you don't want to be too firm where you, um, rub the paint off or, um, you know, repair out or anything like that. So, um, they don't need a bath like a real baby would as far as like, they don't get dirty the same way, obviously. Um, so you don't have to bathe them the same way you would a real newborn baby. Um, but you know, I would say about once every six months at most. So twice a year, um, you can just kind of wash and powder them and it's just good. Kind of gives them a fresh start a little bit. Um, now this is just my personal opinion based on the research I've done, the artists I've spoken to, um, that kind of thing. I'm not a silicone expert by any means. I'm also not a silicone artist. So always go by whatever your silicone artist, um, tells you because they really know, they know best. They know their paint work the best. They know, um, we're just going to get his hair kind of just for fun. Um, of course, you know, they know their paint paints best and all that kind of stuff. So they're gonna know what works best with their particular work. Um, but my opinion is you can bathe them up to about twice a year. Um, and you just don't wanna do it too much more than that. But your artist could say otherwise. Your artist might say, you know, you can bathe your silicone baby as often as you like, um, or, you know, don't bathe them at all, or I don't know. So just always follow your artist's advice. So this is just like a really kind of fun bonding experience for me and for Sammy. Um, and so this is just something that's kind of, it's really relaxing, it's calming. It brings me back to the days when my girls were newborns and they had their first bath at home and you're kind of nervous and it's, it's a little awkward because, you know, you just feel, um, you feel all those jitters again. Like you want to be extra gentle and it just... It just feels exciting and um, exciting and relaxing at the same time, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, I don't know. It's just something that um, really bonds you um, to your silicone baby a little bit more. And um, anything that I can do to kind of bond with him more, I just enjoy. It's just a really therapeutic, calming experience for me. It kind of takes me out of my real, real life, real world, and into just a state of um, of joy, of happiness, of being a new mom. When, you know, when you're a new mom, you're kind of on cloud nine for those first several months. And, um, and I just, I get that kind of all the time with him. So this is another new experience that we've had his first bath. Um, I'm going to get ready to take him out. We're going to pat dry him. And then, um, of course, powder him, get his hair brushed, all that fun stuff. So let's me? do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Come here, Grace. You want to help? So, okay, we got to be really gentle with him, right? So take the washcloth, Joy. He's sleepy. He's sleepy. Take it and just kind of squeeze it on him so he gets a little water. Get in his eyes. That's okay. He likes that. His eyes are closed. His eyes are closed, so it's relaxing to him. Yeah. Just be really gentle, right? Let's let Grace have a turn, okay? All right, Grace. Okay. I'm going to have another turn. Okay. I didn't get all of it. Okay, you want me here? I'll just squeeze it out a little. There you go. Okay. And just rinse it all off on him. Cute baby. He has some water on his ears. Yeah, he got water on his ears and his, his eyes. Hair's all Get his hair really good. Okay, Joy. Joy's turn. Bubbles. Dip it in the water. Yeah, he's got bubbles, huh? Good job. Really gentle. Really gentle. Good job, babe. 
He likes that. All right, Grace, you want one more turn? Okay, go ahead. little baby boy. Yeah. He's baby so Sammy. Baby. He's being a good boy, huh? Yeah, he's just kind of relaxing. Just relaxing, laying back. He's okay. cute, though. He mm -hmm. is cute, huh? He's a cute little baby. All right, so now Sleepy I'm going to get him. Baby. He's a sleepy baby. I'm going to get him out so he can go night-night. I'll get him out and put his, can get I him put nice his and warm. Can I pick out a, the binky for him? You want to pick out a binky can for I him? Can I put the pajamas sure. on? You want to pick out pajamas for him? Yeah. Sure, of course. Okay, let's go do that, okay? The baby's so cute. He's so yeah. cute. You wait in there. Okay, here's his binkies, Grace. Okay, here's his binkies. And then Joy... Here's his pajamas. Here's his clothes. But he's a boy, so pick out boy ones. Those are girl ones. I know. Either the blue, mm -hmm. that one, or that one. I like that one. Good choice. That one's really boring. Yeah, this one's kind of boring, and it's a little yeah, bit bigger, whereas this one's tiny. He likes the little ones. Oh, that's cute, Joy. Okay, we'll do that, okay? Okay. All right, so we got Sammy here. Back on the changing table, and I'm just gonna pat him dry. And as I said, it's a family affair, so we've got the girls in here, and my husband is helping behind the camera today. So you'll notice the camera work is probably a little better than when I do it <laughs> uh, myself, because I am definitely not technically savvy. So, okay, what we're gonna do is first, I have his clothes here like I showed you earlier. I'm gonna put his little cloth diaper on first, make sure his bits are dry, because YouTube doesn't really like showing all of his bits, so I'm gonna get that done first, then I'm gonna powder him once he's dry, of course. So I just wanna make sure he's covered up. There we go, easy breezy. Okay, okay, let's not do that, okay, gross. Okay, so let me just get him more dry. Okay, there we go. Nice and dry, nice and dry boy. And then I'm gonna get him powdered. And then, so let's see, I'm, I wanna powder him probably. Well, let me make sure he's really dry first. Um, but I'm gonna wanna powder him really well. So, and I'm gonna go over the powdering with you guys because it's a little different. Um, I actually don't know how to snap this. So let's see here, sorry if I'm blocking the camera. I tend to do that a lot. Um, okay. I don't know how to work the diaper at all. Okay. Like there's no snaps for it. Look, there's no way to snap it. Here, I'll show you, watch. Oh wait, I think yeah, this goes, this side. connects with this? Okay, all right. So hold on, I gotta get the same thing. Are you just recording this whole thing? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be so, that makes it so twice as hard. Okay, all right. Okay, so um, sorry for the noise. I've got the. Hold on. All right, so sorry for the noise that this bag makes, but um, sometimes the powder comes loose, and so I actually store it in this bag. So you're gonna wanna keep it in there just because the powder kind of is messy and gets everywhere. Um, at least for me it does. But again, I'm kind of new at this, so I really am sort of a new mom with all of this stuff because I'm somewhat of a new reborn mom, but I'm especially a new silicone mom. Um, so I'm just kind of learning as I go with a lot of this stuff. Sammy's teaching me a lot. Um, so we've got his powder. Um, I also got this brush from D3. The lid I took off there. but um, So this is my first time using this powder with him actually um, in this way anyway. So it's got a really cool travel brush. So we can take this with us on vacation, um, which will be cool. So, okay, let me go ahead and let's go ahead and try to powder him. See what it's like. I have I haven't done this before, so let's see here. I know it can be messy, so we'll see. We got that. So you guys are like I said, you're learning this with me. For those of you that haven't done this before, and those that are experts or have done this before, you're probably watching me thinking, "What is she doing? She doesn't know what she's doing." <laughs> so let's see. Here we go. Ah! All right, not too too bad. 
but definitely good that I have a towel down because as you can see, the powder could spill. Okay, so let's get his little travel brush. And I'm gonna kind of do it like this. And again, I don't totally know what I'm doing. There we go. All right. And there we go. So I'm actually thinking I'm gonna pour some of it out to make it easier. And this could be wrong. If this is wrong, let me know in the comments if there's another way you would suggest doing this or if you do it differently. Um, but I want to powder him really good because what will happen with these um, silicone babies sometimes if you don't powder them well and take good care of them is they can become shiny. So their paint will, I don't know if the paint rubs off or what, but for whatever reason, they'll just become shiny. So you just want to be really, um, you know, aware of that. Um, and so make sure that you powder them well if you do bathe them. Don't bathe them too often. Be extra gentle with them in your handlings, dressings. Um, they, they can uh, actually tear, the silicone can tear. It can't tear easily. I mean, they are, you know, fairly resilient, just like a real newborn. I mean, you really just wanna be as gentle with them as you would a real newborn baby. Um, so some people think that like they're like glass and like you have to be so gentle and that's not the case. They're just, they're as fragile as a newborn baby. So um, that's how it's been best explained to me by sculptors and artists. Um, again, I'm not an expert. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but um, Sammy has this cutest little little red marks on his cheek that I love. It's kind of like, like his little birthmark or whatever. I just think it's so cute. That's what I love about this art is all the little details. Let me get his diaper on all the way now. So see if it'll fit him. He might actually be too big for it. Um, Cause he is a big boy. As you can see, he's kind of a chunky boy. Oh, Sammy, are you too big for this? It's newborn size. I think you're too big. He's been gaining weight. So he is like a, he's, he wears a size zero to three month um, best. So newborn is a little small. Three month is a little big. So zero to three month US size um, for reference. That's, that seems to fit him best. So he's about powdered up. I think we're gonna do his hair next, but let's get his back real quick. Here we go, bug. All right, his hair's a mess back there. Don't look. He says, don't look at my bad hair day. All right, so let's get him. Make sure he's dry. He's a little bit wet back here. So make sure his back is nice and dry. And then we'll powder him up. So as you can see, you know, it is a little time consuming, but it, it's really relaxing. It's fun. I mean, I for me, it's fun. If you enjoy um, taking care of babies, um, you know, or at least taking care of newborn babies, especially, and, and you know, the things you do with those young little infants, then I think um, this is a hobby that you might enjoy if you're not into it already. And for those of you that are already in the hobby, thanks for following along and <laughs> learning with me as I figure this out. While I have him back here, we're gonna just fix his hair. So you, again, like I said, you wanna be gentle with their hair because, um, because the, uh, you know, it's rooted and it doesn't grow back. If it falls out, if you're too rough with it and it falls out, it doesn't grow back. So um, he has a lot of hair, luckily, so no problems with him. His artist did a beautiful job on his, on his uh, rooting of his hair and on um, just all the details with him, as you can see. He's just so, so realistic. So um, so I've been really lucky with, with that aspect of him. Um, sometimes what I do with his hair is I'll do a little faux hawk style. Um, and so while it's wet, I can kind of do that. But I don't know what style I want to do. I might, just, I might just go down the middle. But as you can see, you can have fun with it a little. I'll do a side part. But I think we're going to just do this. So as you can see too, like just even brushing his hair, as silly as it sounds, it's really fun. Um, you know, you just you're kind of you just you're just a new mom having fun with your with your little baby. So all right, I'm gonna close the powder up because I think he's powdered enough. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more powder real quick on just his legs and feet because I didn't really focus on those 
as much as I want to. I just want to make sure, like I said, um, you just want to make sure you really get that powder in because that helps preserve the paint job. So I don't know if you do it in the hair, but hey, let's go for it. Get another little faux hawk back. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Um, you know what I didn't do, and y'all aren't going to see this, but we'll just go boop, 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 really quick, just like you would diaper, you know, diaper a baby. Well, we are diapering a baby. Just a silicone baby. Okay, there we go. All right, buddy, this might be the last time you wear this because you're just growing so much. He's so chunky. I love it. I love the chunky little legs. I'm going to close this up before I get powder everywhere. Um, and like I said, I keep it in this plastic. So sorry for the noise. Some people don't like that noise. Some people do like the noise, kind of ASMR-ish. Um, and let's get him dressed. All right. So Joy actually picked out this little shirt for him. So he might end up wearing it, but it does clash with his diaper. So I, I don't know. We'll see if she, <laughs> if she comes in and decides that she wants, she really wants that on him. And if she does, then I'll have to change his diaper, I think, because the, the mismatching will probably bother me too much. But all right, he's going to wear knee highs for the first time. He's never worn little socks like this. Now, as I mentioned before, he does have um, armatures in his feet. So I can actually move his feet up or down, depending on, you know, kind of what, what I wanted to do. I think these are actually really cute on him and his little chubby legs. Um, and you do want to keep socks and mittens on your silicone baby, uh, not all the time, but, you know, fairly often. And the reason being, um, it just helps preserve the paint job a little bit longer, um, which, I mean, they should last for, you know, decades, but that's as, as long as you take good care of them. But the reason that I like to put um, socks and mittens on is when you're dressing them and stuff like that, you kind of rub the hands and feet a lot um, when you're putting clothes on and off of them. And so that helps preserve the paint job. Um, just some advice again that an artist gave me. So I'm going to be gentle with his hair, but we're going to put a little hat on him just because he's cold from the bath, but I won't keep the hat on him long term. We'll just keep it on for a little while for some pictures and for some some cute little moments, some cute little first bath moments. Look at that boy, how cute. He looks so real, you guys. Okay, one little detail we did forget, very important, and that is he's getting fussy, and I know why. Grace picked out his binky, so this is his favorite binky. Um, it always, he just likes to, he seems to like it, so. There we go, so he's got his little binky, she'll like that. The girls love, they call them binkies. They love, um, they love the Reborns having pacifiers. They just think that's so fun. Pacifiers, bottles, and of course they had fun with the bath. So there we go. There is Mr. Sammy. He's all done. So thank you so much for being here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this was Sammy's first bath. Um, we'll, let, we'll definitely let you guys know about his next bath. But like I said, it probably won't be for about three to six months. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's Sammy. We love you guys. You're important to us. Bye, Reborn friends.